hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you some of the functions related to the charts which are very helpful in nature and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and see the first function so the first function i want to show you in this video is the above function so for example if you have a table like this where you have the data for from 2009 q1 i have the data from 2011 q3 and uh, let's say we want to understand the difference between q2 to q1 q3 q3 to q2 so on and so forth then in that case the above function can be very useful so first thing is that it is a simple table which is this i have used this and i've added just two columns uh, one is simply the derived column year quarter, uh, which ClickSense by default creates. And the second is the sum of sales. Uh, let's add the third column, which is measure. So in the measure, if I first of all, simply use the above function. And if I open it up, and as you can see here, above basically picks up uh some of the keywords like total i have already explained about them in the previous video what what total is and then the expression offset expression count expression all that different arguments so for now we will just enter our simple expression which is sum of sales so within the above we have an expression sum of sales that's what it needed and i will click apply and if you come over here as you can see what it gives is basically the value which is prior to the current column so in q2 it shows the value of q1 in q3 it shows the value of q2 now it is up to us what expression we would like so in now what we can do is we can simply say uh, either sum of sales minus above sum of sales if i come out you can now clearly see if I subtract, I think uh, it is 1.2 million from $886,000, then you will get the negative value and uh, so on and so forth. The expression is uh, basically calculating the difference from current quarter to previous quarter. So that's one of the uh, regularly used use case. Uh, other can be uh, in hat count and all uh, when you calculate the hat count or budgeted expenses and things like that uh, you will see that you needed this function so that's that's about how you can use the above function the functionalities with the above function and now i will meet you in the new video with a new topic